Hey guys, in this video we are going to continue graphing systems of equations, but this, these examples are going to be our special cases. So if you recall in our last lesson, the solution to a, set, a system of equations is going to be the point where the lines intersect. Let's take a look at this first example and let's look at what, what strange things happen here. So example A, the first equation y equals 2x plus 1, the slope is 2, the number next to x, 2 over 1, and the y-intercept is at 1, 0, 1. So we're going to begin graphing at the y-intercept on the y-axis at positive 1. The slope of 2 over 1 tells us to rise 2, which means we go up 2, run 1, so we go to right 1. From the y-intercept, we're going to rise 2, run 1. So up 2, right 1. This is a positive slope that rises from left to right. We can also go the opposite direction, down 2 and left 1. Connect all those points, put some arrows on the ends. All right, let's check out the second equation. The slope is the same. Use a different color. The slope is going to be the same. 2 over 1. The y-intercept is at 0, negative 3. So we're going to begin at negative 3 on the y-axis. We're going to go up 2 and right 1 to graph the next points. Ne up 2, right 1. Up 2, right 1. Continue, and if you'll notice, something different is happening with these lines. These lines are parallel. They do not intersect. So if the solution to a system of equations is the point where the two lines intersect and these lines do not intersect, that will tell us that there is no solution. The lines never intersect because they are parallel, parallel lines. And the behavior of those equations or those models is very unique. The slopes are the same, both rise to run one, but the y-intercepts are different values. So negative three for the second line and positive one for the first line. Okay, let's look at one more special case. Uh, these equations, the first one's in slope-intercept form and it's actually the same as the previous line. So the slope is 2 over 1, and the y-intercept is 0, 1. So let's graph the y-intercept. We're going to rise 2 and run 1 to get to the next point. All right, graph a couple more lines, I mean points, and connect those points. Arrows on the ends of your lines. Okay, let's check out the second equation. The second equation is not in slope-intercept form, so we need to get it there. So get y by itself, so we're going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. So that's going to give me y equals 2x, negative 2 plus 3 is plus 1. Well, if you notice, that's exactly the same line as the first equation. So when I graph the, the, the second equation, it's going to map directly on top of the other line. These are called coincidental lines. They have exactly the same slope of 2 and exactly the same y-intercept of positive 1. So in this special case there are infinitely many solutions because the lines are coincidental. If we go back and check out those equations again, same slope, same y-intercept, that would tell us that there are infinitely many solutions. Good job today and I hope this was helpful.